here at home. We are under a severe thunderstorm watch, and this is why Rob Ellis is back. Rob, the official start of summer just minutes away. Yeah, officially, I think it's 1032 is the official time when we have officially uh, seen the summer solstice, but it looks more like spring on our radar because we do have the severe thunderstorm watch. It essentially includes everyone, but also watching that severe thunderstorm warning. This is newly issued, but I got to tell you, I think just about all locations are going to see some gusty winds tonight and the potential for some really heavy rain. And I think this is just the beginning of a string of severe thunderstorm warnings, and I want to show you why I'm watching that. First of all, the radar is really lit up. The first round that came through really kind of fizzled out, and I'm okay with that because it was the one that had a little bit more of a tornadic signature to it. The second round has a lot of concerns, but they're all a little bit on the minimized side compared to that first round. This one cell that I'm watching right now, it does have a little bit of the hook signature that we so often talk about. There was a little bit of rotation with this earlier. It's also producing some really gusty winds. What you're looking for here is the really bright reds and the really bright greens. Those are winds that are either really strong towards the radar or really strong away from the radar. When we see those two close together in the right orientation, it tends to mean that we have some rotation in there. Some of the gusts here, uh, according to radar, are in the 40 to 50 mile per hour range. There's also some stronger gusts behind that. This is going to be approaching Squaw Grove. This is going to roll right down. Down, US 30, Big Rock, and then eventually into Sugar Grove and Aurora. Watch that because that's the location that this is heading. Back behind that, an even stronger area of gusty winds. And I think this is going to become the more dominant weather pattern as we look to the next hour or so. I think what we're going to watch is several more of these severe thunderstorm warnings issued. And the reason why is we're using up a lot of this heating that's still in place, upper 70s to 80 degrees. We've got the heat, and boy, do we have some really intense thunderstorms, but they're becoming less of those individual cells. That one that I showed you that had a little bit of a hook in the parts of uh, DeKalb County, but moving closer to Kane County, they're starting to become more of a line of storms. And typically, when you have this line get a little bit better organized, it's very indicative of gusty winds, really strong winds, a strong line of storms that could produce some damaging winds. And that's really what we're looking at. All of this is going to sweep across, so I think this is just the first of several severe thunderstorm warnings. We're probably going to see more of these light up. I hope it weakens as it encounters some of the air that's been worked over, uh, but there's still uh, a good bit of energy in the atmosphere and a good bit of lightning as well. We'll watch as this all moves through. I want to show you where we go with our uh, seven day forecast, though, because after this, we should wrap up any sh showers or maybe even a rumble of thunder overnight, leaving a stray shower in the morning. It's 70s after that. We don't pick up the chance for storms until Thursday of next week. Rob, thank you.